what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. A Bike Podcast, episode 89. We got special best. I said special best. <laughs> special guest in the building. We got she do just as much as you do, dog. She a dancer, photographer, videographer, got a uh, model, and she got a nonprofit organization. We got uh Euphemia. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, what's up? What's up? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm doing how you, good. How you been? I've been doing good. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'll be lying to you, and I'm not the type of person to lie. I thought you wasn't coming for a minute. For real? Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't know. I just be having doubt in a lot of people. <laughs> like, there'd be so many people who give you a spins when you do this podcast stuff. Mm-hmm. You just be praying that people come on time. Well, I'm happy to reassure you. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. But uh, before we start, we always do a salumi while I'm here. Salumi. Yep, why? salute. So a lot of times we wait for people to pass away to be like, man, that person was dope. Oh, wow. Or that person was this, that. We Wait for people to pass away and make a long Facebook status yeah. instead of going ahead and saying that why you can still, you know, why you can hear it. Exactly. But it can't be nobody in your circle. Mom, dad, can't be no siblings. I know you ain't got no kids. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Or if you got a do or whatever, a relationship, it got to be somebody outside of that. Somebody who wouldn't expect to uh, salute. So you got anybody in your mind? Mm-hmm. It could Prince. Be- oh, Prince, for sure. Prince, like the singer yes, Prince? Prince, yes. Oh, but hold on. You got to salute me while I'm here. Oh, oh, because I'm looking like yeah, that's now, my Prince, dog. Prince is dope. That's my he dog. He dope them up. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. Ooh, Tana Real. Okay, she's an independent artist. I would definitely give my kudos to her. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. What she uh, what she do? What, rap, so she does. Sing? Um, she sings. She's she has her own productive company. Mm-hmm. So she makes videos, put out her music, but it's all under her own label. So I feel like I appreciate that because a lot of artists nowadays. Are waiting to get signed rather than just going to go do it themselves. Mm-hmm, so sure. I'm That's proud of facts. that, and I know it's hard to be an independent artist out here. Oh yeah, yeah, cost of money with videos and, mm-hmm. and and recordings and all that good stuff, beats and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's hard as hell. Exactly. So that's your salute. Yes. I ain't gonna lie. Hundred percent. Damn, eighty nine. Who? I'm a. Wait, well, my brother. I'm gonna salute my wife, brother. Uh, over the weekend, we went to Milwaukee. Okay. That was our first time seeing her brother in eleven years. Wow. Yeah, he been in Vegas. He left here, and they just never. You know what I'm saying? He never came back home. So he finally came back. They finally chopped it up. She was crying like crazy. I'm like, damn, she crying for real. Like, <laughs> that's some love right there. So I'm going to salute him. His name is uh, Jim, Jimmy, Jimmy Bones. You a cool dude. Little small dude, but he was cool dude. <laughs> you ain't have to say that. <laughs> yeah, hey, because when people are shorter than me, I'm short. So when people are smaller than me, I'm like, oh, see, I feel good about myself. Look, I feel that. Yeah, for sure, that's for sure. Up. Okay, but I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to say? It's fucked up he's smaller than me? No, that you saying that like he oh, no, is. all good. He, he, kept, he kept saying it. He was like, man, your son taller than me. He was a small dude. So that's my salute to him. Family, it was it was cool. Everybody was crying. Everybody was hugging. Everybody was happy. So it was some good stuff. Like I felt good for them. That's you know what good. I'm saying? Reconnecting. But uh, it's about to be 2022. Yes. The end of the year. Yes. It's October, whatever, man. The year went by fast. It was a crazy year with you know Corona and stuff. So how have your year been so far? You feel like you accomplished goals? You got more to do? You kind of like you was lacking like all of the above. <laughs> like all of the above. Because I'm like with um COVID happening, like school went online. Mm. So I had to change up my regular daily schedule. Like I didn't have an excuse to like go outside and to study and to just create. So I had to do everything in a box. And I feel like that's not usually my thing. Mm-hmm. So I went through phases of like kind of losing interest with what I was doing because yeah. it was so different. I had phases of having to boss up and be like, if you don't make it happen, it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. And then I had phases of just being like, this is kind of a blessing because the world does get to change and you probably sure. didn't like it yeah, the yeah, way it yeah. was before That's all of fact. this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, for sure. What's some what's some good things that came out of the year that you, you proud of yourself for? My birthday. What happened then? I just I felt older. Like, <laughs> not, like no, I felt I felt like more mature and on a mental note, but my energy felt younger. So sure. I felt like I could have fun with life but also I was able to direct my own energy without needing somebody to direct me. So mm. it was a good balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also appreciated just being able to overall create with other creatives. Like I've been meeting a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. And also a lot of people have been taken out of my life. So just Oh, that's always good. <laughs> yeah, so just being able to <laughs> get introduced to people who are about their business mm-hmm. and also are good people too i feel like that's a hard balance nowadays. but no and then you always you always see like the older you get like people eliminate themselves you don't even have to do it Facts. that's yeah. the thing about it. it's all about the energy yeah and once you and once you do your thing people might leave because they they just ain't on your level no more yeah. you might outgrow people because they might be doing the same thing they was doing five years ago Facts. and you're in a whole new thing you know what i'm saying because all i know homies that still want to go party and this and the third you i'm like bro time for that. i said the crib chill <laughs> <laughs> like, for real i ain't on that but you say uh you just had birthday like how old yeah. are you if you don't mind me asking i'm 21 damn Wish I was 21, dog. 
<laughs> Which I so you finally legal and stuff. Yeah. Man, I was twenty one. How many years ago? Thirteen. <laughs> like I'm getting old out here, man. But no, that's that's what's up. When your birthday? July fourteenth. Oh, okay. So you a cancer? Yes, sir. Are you sensitive? Yeah, I'm sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, for real, because I got cancers in my life. My uh -huh. wife a cancer. My brother a cancer. My son a cancer. My mom a cancer. You think they sensitive? Oh hell yeah. What? And the thing with y'all, y'all let everything build up Oh, inside. yeah, that's something I had to learn. I'm like, I have to express it right now or I'm going to yeah. blow up. Because I'm, I'm like, like <laughs> she started naming shit that happened a year ago. Like, hold on, what? Like, yeah, we remember stuff. Yeah. We for sure remember everything. And we had to have a conversation. Like, listen, if you mad about something, please tell me right then and there. Yeah. Like, I'm, I don't know where I'm at. I'm a cancer, but Gemini. My birthday is June 21st. Interesting. So some people, that's some crazy. some horoscopes say Gemini, <laughs> some say cancer. I guess you're I could be sensitive too. I'm sensitive, but I'm tough at the same time. But like, you sensitive on the inside. You, I'm hit to you. I might be a little sensitive. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, me and sensitive. When last time you got a good crying? A good crying. <laughs> yeah, a good cry, like a healthy cry. Um, <laughs> Not, I hurt my knee. Cry. Shit, like. a few weeks ago. What happened? I was just. So it was a. I was hanging out with my friends, mm -hmm. and then I kind of was just like feeling everybody vibes, and I was like, damn, we all go through a lot of things in this life for sure and i had to just like utilize my power and just realize i'm like i'm here to make things better so i'm like of course you can see the issues but you also can't let yourself like dive into the issues as if something's not going to get better mm -hmm. so i think it was just like me releasing the fear and the doubts that mm -hmm. i had and yeah. just taking in the fact that i'm like you can really do a lot so just stay focused yeah for sure for sure hey, I, we just got finished talking about it. i cried um what's today monday I cried saturday night about what? No. So my uh, <laughs> my wife grandmother, uh, her her husband is in hospice care. Okay. So she was hit hard, like going through it, crying stuff. I wasn't crying because of that. Mm -hmm. It's like when she like she a pastor too. Mm -hmm. So she uh, say everybody you know get up. We we did a prayer or whatever. And the power of her prayer was so tough. Everybody in there was crying. Like my wife, dad, and uncle was the thuggest dudes ever. Yes. But they had to go outside and cry because they didn't want nobody That's to see true. them. That's yeah. true. That's true And I'm like, I don't know what the heck is coming over me. Like, mm -hmm. it's just tears was coming. Like, oh, dang, my son right here. Like, I'm trying to be tough, but that's the last time I got a good crying. Like, it wasn't like crying to the fact that I was like, it's like snout was coming out my nose mm -hmm. and all like that. But it was like, we was just crying because it was like, we felt it. We felt what she was saying. I like that so, though. Yeah, but because a lot of niggas be too scared to say when they cry. Shit, yeah, hey. You got to let that out. You yeah, have you, to let it out. Like the thuggest person, go, you, you you got something in you like that's going to hurt you. Thanks. You can't be tough all the time. Like, you can't be tough with your lady, your kids. Like, exactly. You got to be a little emotional some damn times. Exactly. Yeah. So on you, before we get to everything that you do, okay. you do a lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> when we were chopping it up, I said you got a lot of baskets, a lot of hats. But uh, tell me how it was growing up. Where you from? Who was in the crib? All that good stuff. Oh, so since my parents were separated, I was on the east and the west. But I feel like my most time spent was definitely at my grandma's house. Okay. So in that house, you had um, my two cousins. You had my auntie. Mm -hmm. You had my older auntie. Yeah. And then right down the street was the rest of my cousins. Mm -hmm. So it was definitely tight-knit. I was able to like see the different levels of family. I was able to see... Three generations of family, honestly, because when my auntie had kids, I was able to be there too. For so sure. it was a lot of fun. And I would definitely say I was a lot younger than my cousins, but they brought me to do everything. So yeah. I saw a lot. Could you give me that <laughs> older vibe in the 21? Like, you know what I'm saying? When you're talking all that stuff with things you're going through, like, seeing how you a little older than you mature for your age. Yeah, because I think I'm like the youngest in my family all the time. Like, yeah. I have like little cousins, but they're like five. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I've yeah, been like the youngest yeah, for a yeah, while. For sure. yeah, 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 and yeah. I appreciate it though, because it made me like just. You know, I'm like, if I'm around, I got to handle myself, handle yeah. my business. So, sure. I do I do like my upbringing. Yeah. Now, you say you got cousins. You got any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have um two sisters and a little brother, and I'm the oldest. Okay, 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 okay. Now, you said moms and pops had, had split up. Did they, yes. like, did, was it too young for you to remember? Or, like, did it hurt you? Did no, you got... I remember. I was three when they split up, but I do remember it. And yeah. I would say, like, it wasn't bad because I knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't, like, feel confused. But I just feel like the overall way that adults handled themselves mm -hmm. is what I didn't appreciate. I'm like, y'all got bigger things to be worried yeah, about than yeah, arguing. Yeah, for sure. So, that's the biggest thing I would say yeah. about that. You got a relationship with, with your pops, too? Yes. That's what's up. That's what's up. Because as long as you ain't, you know what I'm saying, a lot of dudes, when they break up with the woman, it's like, all right, I'm broke up with the kids, too. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got family. I got homies that they don't, they break their kids. Just because they're not with the girl. Like, man, fuck the relationship. Like, Take care of the kids. Like you got kids still. The kid has to be brought up in this. So me and my oldest son, mom, uh -huh. we we broke up, but we didn't want each other no more. We were mm -hmm. still good with each other, and we had kids take care of. So right. it was no beef between me and her. I just 
I ain't like her ass. She ain't like me. So, <laughs> so it's just like, crazy, it's whatever this shit, dog. So you had a household full of people. Yes. And a lot of times you into the music shit. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we get our musical influences from our parents. Facts, yeah. So what's some stuff you was liking, not based Ooh. off of you, but just off your mom or your auntie or whoever was around? I definitely like old school music. I like jazz because of my granddad. I did spend a lot of time with him, too. Um, I like a lot of rap music because mm-hmm. of my parents. Mm-hmm. I would say, like, my dad had a Hummer, so I just remember, like, <laughs> asking him to bang the music. I was like, yeah. I was just little like, yes. Yeah, who was some, who was the people you liking because of them though? Them artists, man, everybody on the radio. Yeah, like I'm like I'm like yeah, everybody yeah. on the anybody. radio was yeah. my was my dog. Yeah, and then um, let me see, yeah, everybody on the now, radio. Now, now, yesterday was the Millennium tour, but you wanted people like back then, like loving Bow Wow and Soldier Boy, you know. Yeah, like, who was on who was on your wall? <laughs> who was on posters of them? I never had no posters. I would just always kind of imagine myself being able to like you know like when they do the interviews and stuff. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do the interviews with them one day. Yeah, and yeah. then they end it. 106 yeah. in part. Yeah, oh, I'm like, shit. I was hurt. I, I was ready. Yeah. I was ready to grow up just to be on that show. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, interviewing myself like I, like I was getting interviewed by Free and AJ. Then we had uh, Terrence and Roxy. For real. Then that's when he messed it up and had like Bow Wow. That's when he got weak. Like damn. Yeah. Okay, I feel that. I <laughs> and, feel but you that. did have my man from Detroit. But uh, you can't do Bow Wow like that. It was cool. Still. No, Bow Wow. No, that's cool. one thing I respect Bow Wow because he was a child star. Yeah. He didn't get turned out. Right. He wasn't one of these dudes on drugs looking crazy, and he's still making money. Thanks. And he's Thanks. still doing music. Like you can say what you want that he still got hits. He's still gonna make money off a of tour, so. Very true. And you got Soldier Boy, uh, Marion. Soldier Boy, goofball. But everybody clown there, Marion with that dance. Like you yeah. see the dance I'm hip up. to that. I'm hip. To, you hip. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but think about it. Well, Marion was a dancing ass nigga. You remember you was dance off at uh, was that Touch? Remember that song? We was all dancing. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that was a good song. Shit, that had me dancing. I couldn't even dance for real. <laughs> now, once you start listening to music for yourself, who were people you was liking? Like once you got in them high school years. Ooh. I started liking like Janae Iko, okay. The Weeknd. Mm-hmm. So more so like the, I would say like the mainstream people, but yeah. like before they got too, too mainstream. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, So yeah, I yeah. like like seeing their creativity, but also seeing that they had access to better material. So like the music was like hitting on a different level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So That's I how I felt say, about what's name too, with her. Oh, her first, bang. Yeah, I like her too. I heard about her, like before she blew up, I'm like, damn, who is this? She banged. Yeah. But then was it you ever heard of him? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I never um I never knew if they was like a duo or something yeah. or if it just like happened by coincidence. Yeah, and they started I think they were beefed out about that. Like For real? she didn't like that he was like stealing her music and redoing it. Oh. So it was like oh, a little so beef. They not little, no group, okay. Yeah, a little riff between them. So sticking on music, yeah. give me a song or a CD every time you hear it, it take you back to a time. Like, damn, I was doing this, I was playing with my Barbie dolls, I was <laughs> Skipping uh, anything like take you back to a certain time in life. Every time you hear this song or a CD or artist, just Beyonce. You- okay. Because yeah, I remember when I was younger, I asked for a CD player, and I for sure was banging Beyonce. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, I love her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say, um, Beyonce's original albums, definitely. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. It made me. It made me feel like, like classy and also dramatic at the same time. Yeah, I yeah. Like yeah. That vibe. So you part of the Beehive then. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Me and my brother, like I said, we got to a, a big argument in the barbershop. He called me stupid because I said, we talking about who the most attractive in Destiny Child. And I'm like, Kelly. Like, Kelly bang, though. Yeah, he's like, like they this be sleeping nigga on dumb. Kelly. Like, they be sleeping on Kelly. No, Kelly, but it wasn't get done. Speaking of once this part when she had failed, remember, uh, Michelle? Oh, that's bold. Like, that's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. <laughs> that, that was terrible, bro. man. But no, once this part was a classic. Beyonce definitely a classic. Yes. And I know you you young, mm-hmm. so I know you probably wasn't purchasing CDs or whatever. But no, you, I do have a few CDs. Yeah. Oh, so what's the first one you 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 pay you pay for with your own Beyonce. money? Beyonce. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, so you a big was, fan? Of I'm it. looking like we was at Target. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Getting the Beyonce CD. What yeah. was what was it? Was it Solo Boy or the group? Um, it was a solo one. Okay. What's when that? she started um bringing out Sasha Fierce. Okay. That's okay. when I hopped on for real. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now talk to me about uh high school. How would you as a student? High school. Was you popular? Was you quiet? Was you good grades? What? So Tell me, I went to um International Academy. We had no sports. Okay. So it was all academics and I would say I would say I was a good student. Like yeah. I like to get my work done. Because I was out in Troy, I was I would say I was popular because I was in Troy. They'd never seen a black girl yeah. and that was doing everything I was doing. So they yeah. definitely was like So it was like a white school? No, I I went to school with Indians. Okay, okay. Not even though yeah. How how was it like did you well, it was the first time, like, was you always, like, in a school, like, not all black or whatever like that? So, I was out in school in Detroit. I went to um, Cornerstone. I went to a few schools. I went to school in Warren. Okay. Um, I went to Lincoln Academy. Okay. So, I moved around a lot as a kid with the schools. Mm-hmm. And then my mom's house actually got broken into 
three days in a row. So oh, she damn. just moved me out to Troy. I was like, hold on, two. three days in a row. Like, how was that happening? Like, no, I was, I'm like, they did, they did not care at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they just so, kept like, hold on, we got something else we gotta go. No, back. for real. Yeah, for that's real. crazy. She had to take them to court off of that. I'm like, damn. So, um, she had moved me out to Troy. I was like two weeks late to school. Okay. I was definitely quiet when I first got there because I had never been in an environment with all white people. So yeah. I was. And it wasn't just about like the race, but it was just a different environment. I'm like, I'm, sure. I'm late. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, I just got to go to school. So yeah. it was like little stuff. I didn't know how to open my locker. <laughs> yeah, um, stuff you gotta get, yeah, for real. But I did appreciate the academics. I would say like oh, yeah. being out in Troy, it showed me a different care that the teachers can have. Yeah. Now that was crazy. I'm like. No, it do. It do. Because I went, I had went to all, you know, black schools all my mm -hmm. life until eighth grade. Went to suburban school for eighth, ninth, 10th grade mm -hmm. uh, in Gross Point. And when I got there, I'm like, dog, this is crazy. Right, because like, I'm like, even with the books, I'm like, every year I'm the first person signing the book. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I would you never see, do that. Yeah, you, you <laughs> like, got to turn like, pages what? and sound like, your mama had the book back in the 70s. Like, Bro, dog, God. for real. Like, damn, my grandma went here? Like, dog, for real, no, that's how it is. Because maybe you had to get the book covers and then you had to bring something to cover the books yes, up and exactly, stuff. exactly, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. But yeah, when you go to those suburban schools, they take new books. Mm -hmm. You got computers. You got classes Everything. that you wouldn't have as electives and stuff like that saying. like i'm cooking food in school that's what i'm saying yeah for sure so it gave me a lot of motivation to just go hard for my people because i'm like it's not right that i can see as a kid mm -hmm. like the differences going yeah. on here with education that's oh, the yeah. most important thing to somebody for sure. you definitely see that you definitely but i think i was messing up because i'm like i was so stuck on like not having no friends mm -hmm. no girls to talk to like it was like damn it's just me here so like my grades was like up and down i feel that but then when i went back to these trip public schools I'm like, oh shoot, here go all the girls. Yeah. My grades went straight down. Like you was, like, was destructive playing the rock. Yes, it's yes, okay, yes. Though. I'm like, I'm trying to make sure I'm fly for school, make sure I'm good. I'm not thinking about no grades. Right. You know how you is, you just go, you focus the first month, mm -hmm. then after that you start slacking <laughs> yeah, and then you're I like, damn, my shit yes. fell down hard. Like Yeah, so that's how that shit was. So you went to Wayne you went to you go to Wayne State still, yes, right? I go to Wayne State right now. Was there any other colleges you in mind? Yeah, I had a I wasn't even planning on going to Wayne State. Yeah. I um I got a scholarship down at FAMU, and that was my dream school. Okay. And Clark. Clark okay. and FAMU was my dream school. And Clark was my dream school because, like, I had met people, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have a good time here. But mm -hmm. then I started thinking about the academics, and I was like, that's why God sent me to Wayne State. Because yeah. I was going for the wrong reason. Oh, we yeah, didn't yeah. even know. I didn't even know. And I'm like, oh, it's a cool school. I'm like, yeah. what they go teach you, though? Yeah, for sure. But do you have a little bit like, damn, I wish I would have had that experience all black school? Not really, because I feel like the people who do have the experience, they tell me things about, like, they don't have enough money there or... Mm -hmm the facilities aren't up to par so it's like the things that i do care about mm -hmm. wouldn't have been there because okay. i'm like the people i'm like these are already my people i'm gonna see them all around the world yeah, for sure. so i'm like i do appreciate that i was able to be at somewhere like where they do care about the sports they care about you know your books they yeah, care yeah. about giving you support in different ways that these other schools don't give you mm -hmm. and then i would say like it's kind of a weird thing that i go to school in the heart of detroit but there yeah. aren't a lot of my people there I'm about to so, say, cause that could be a distraction also, because you at the crib. Yeah, You know I what I'm saying? That. So you could, you know, because I know with me, if I'm, I would rather leave and get away from the crib, because I think mm -hmm. it's going to distract me. Like, you never had no distractions being at home? Yeah, I definitely have. Because yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, it's just, it's at home. Like, you have the opportunity to just pop out everywhere. Yeah, yeah so for I feel sure. Like you ain't missing nothing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had to definitely, like, learn my own balance with, like, really tapping into what's important to me and what my decisions are going to get me to. Because I'm like, for sure, freshman year, I'm looking like I was partying like a mug. I'm like, this yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, for but sure. then I got to a point, I'm looking like you taking away time to do your homework. You know yeah. that you're here. you here to learn, to get these grades, and to leave. For sure. You could party any day of your oh, life. Oh, no. Fast, 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 fast. So what you going to school for? Um, Biomedical physics. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shit. My, I, what I go to school for? I went to school for a month. For a month? What <laughs> was you month. doing? I got my uh, my girlfriend at the time. I got her pregnant. Uh huh. So I'm like, I got a baby on the way. So I'm in class, but I'm not even thinking about school no more. I like, feel that. I had to focus. I went because I was I wanted to go to Eastern Michigan, but the way I my like grades Eastern. were set up, <laughs> I like Eastern. Yeah, yeah, I had to go to a Duke, a joint college. Uh -huh. So I went to Macomb. So my whole plan was go ahead for a year. Okay. Use those transfer over. Yeah. But within that month, she's like, yeah, I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh damn. So in class, I'm just thinking about I'm about to have a fucking baby. I'm 19, about to be 20. So I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go. Go come back to school. Right. So I had to go to work. I'm still I'm still planning on going back, but <laughs> what you want to go back for? Well, now that I'm in this thing, I'd rather go for like broadcasting or something like that. That's like nice. you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. back then I didn't know what the hell I wanted to do. I just knew you were supposed to go to college. That's it. Right. Your parents say go to college, and that's what you you do. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I want I was just thinking about that's why I be on my son so tough because he 
think about basketball, basketball, basketball. But you gotta have something that you know what I'm saying that's realistic. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Even though I believe in his dreams, but you gotta have something that you can you know you can count on for sure. Very true. You Very know what I'm saying? True. So that was yes. my problem. I didn't I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. I'm like, fuck it, I just do it the typical bad dude do and be like business. <laughs> like, no, no, I feel you know no, I do feel that. Like, I do feel go, that. Yeah. It's not a bad one at all either. Yeah, yeah. But if I knew I wanted to do stuff like this, you can mm -hmm. do you can be a cameraman, you can be behind the shit, you do right, all that stuff. Like you true. do photography so you know about being behind the scenes and not yes. being, you know, up front shit. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would have you know, went back to do, but at 34, 35, should I go back? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you should. I'm like, <laughs> yes. Yeah, but yes, I got to make yes. sure it's something I'm going to use and not waste yes. no money. Because I don't want to be on then. I'm just in that mud just bullshitting around. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Give me three most influential people in your life that's not famous. Ooh. My mom, my okay. dad, and my granddad. Okay, fast, Very fast. simple. Yeah, Very yeah, yeah, simple. yeah. What about outside of them? Like, who you think about, like? Um, My best friend. Okay. You got one best friend supposed to come on the show. We've been we've been in talks and <laughs> stuff real? like yeah, I, I, uh, Nia. Yes, that's yeah, that's yeah. her. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause when you say your friend's coming down there, I'm like, if it's her, I'm a, I'm a clown. Bro, because <laughs> cause she supposed to for show. Sure, I hit her up like, uh, matter of fact, I know exactly when it was because she said she couldn't come around in time. It was her birthday. It was her birthday in June or something. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her so, birthday June fourteenth. Yeah. So shout shout out to Nia for not coming. We we, we still it's still open. You still come through. <laughs> So you say your friend, who else? You who else you got? I would say that you look at like damn, like that they dope. Like that's dope. That's what they do. If it's just your friend, we just say three friends. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, I'm like, it's really it's really my close like people. I'm like yeah. my friend Siani too. Okay. My friend Taylor. Okay. Like Yeah. They just be out here living their own lives, but we stay connected and so I'll be like, I'm like, oh y'all bossy. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Now, oh yeah, this is something I've been asking. It's fun, funny. Yes. What's something that you wish you would? What's something that you want to learn how to do that you never like tapped into? Man, race car driving. Ra Hold on. Yes, what? race car driving. <laughs> oh, I thought that, that's that's almost as crazy as mine. I want to be a tap dancer. For real? Yeah. Whoa. I didn't think about that. Hold on, I didn't think I was gonna say that. Yes, yeah, I know. Everybody, I wanted to be a tap dancer. I wanted to play a piano. Those two you things. You should try that out then. But I don't think the tap dance. I'm good on that. Okay, way. I'll play a piano, but All I ain't right. about to be tapping. Like, All right, I'm my leg might hurt and shit. Like, but no, I wanted to tap dance. I used to put on my uh, church shoes uh -huh. and go in the bathroom or the kitchen and be tapping my you, ass up. You was freaking that boy. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying. I was trying. But you said you want to be a race. What's what's up with that? Like a race car driver? Oh, I never so heard. So you that. know that um that one show when we was well when I was a kid. It was. Um, Damn, you say I'm old, like. <laughs> no, nah, because I was about to. Add, it's different shows, so I'm like, I'm like, Damn, I gotta disconnect a little bit. Yeah. But it was this one show with this race car driver, and I was watching it, and I'm like, bro, I can do that. Yeah. But then I was like, this could be a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's for gonna sure. take away everything else I'm trying to do. So I was yeah. like, probably not this life. How old was you when you was thinking about that? Like ten. Yeah. I was ready too. I'm like, yeah. Damn, race I car was driver. Ready. Hell mm -hmm. no, that would be funny as hell. Yeah, that's what's up though. Because there's always some shit that you like. Damn, I wish I could do that, but you never tell people. Thanks. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's how it be. Yeah. One day I might, I might tap dance on one of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. Now, like you said, you got your hands in a lot of things. That's about the first thing, because um, I think I, the first time I I seen you, I think somebody posted a picture. You did like a photo shoot. You had like for the real? Nike gear on basketball. Oh, yeah. Can you hoop? A little bit. <laughs> no, I got good defense though. I'm like, yeah. I got some good defense. Oh, yeah. when you, when I, people say good defense. That means they just be wild, hacking, hurting you and just scratching like all that good stuff. But no, with photography. Like, when did you first, you know, what I'm saying, uh, get into that, and what made you want to do, you know, what I'm saying, pick up the camera? Well, I was, I saw my eye, like, I was like, I can really, mm -hmm. like, hit some angles, and then I was also like, I can make some cheese. Mm -hmm, for sure. So, I wanted to kind of, like, showcase, like, regular life. Mm -hmm. rather, like, whether it was just, like, stuff happening in the community or people creating or concerts, I just wanted to showcase it and give people, like, another insight of the Detroit life, for yeah. real. And then, of course, I do want to expand out, but, like, definitely starting Detroit, I wanted to showcase what we about. Mm -hmm. And I did start with videography, but then I started getting bookings for photography, and I'm like, yeah, I like the still images too. Yeah, for sure. So that wasn't even nothing like you wasn't even focused on that. Until oh no, not at all. Like I was strictly about to do videography. Yeah, yeah. Now, how you bring the best out of somebody? You know, what I'm saying because you angles, this, that, yeah. third, the lighting. Like, what was that? What's that? What's the what's the process with that? So I feel like first, like make sure they're comfortable and that they know that they're doing something good. Like I feel like when I'm shooting, I like to let people know, like you know, that's a good angle. Like I see your confidence, you're doing good mm -hmm. because you can see people's energy through their body language mm. and i'm like you know i can see if you're being stiff i can see if you like kind of like wondering what i'm thinking about so <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna tell you like you look good yeah, 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 yeah. and then with lighting that's just something i had to go through with trial and error like 
if you have too much light, somebody's face is gonna like look very bland. If you have a little light, they look kind of like scary. You would see the <laughs> not scary necessarily, but you yeah, know, like yeah, yeah. you know, like the Halloween look, like you'll be able to see the shadows or whatever. For sure. For sure. And oh, oh no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, then then I was just saying like with the um the angles, is it just about being honest? Like I'm yeah. like, you know, a picture will look good and clear, but is it that picture? So yeah. I feel like just while you're actually shooting, being present and changing things up. Mm. For that specific model, that's yeah. what I try to do. Now you know some some angles for a first time person can be feeling silly, like you like. Yeah. You doing shit like no, yeah. <laughs> so I how do, how like... do you get somebody out out in their comfort? Like man, this, I feel weird, mm. awkward. Like how do you get somebody be like you know what? No, it's all good. Like you know, what I'm saying it ain't as silly as you think it may be because you know at the at the end of the day you behind it you see what it look like for Facts. real. They, um, they might be doing this like what the fuck like. I feel that. So <laughs> I go through like a method of trying to direct them. So if I mm. see a pose that I think their body will look good in, I'll do the pose myself, mm. and then I feel like that just like begins to flow with me watching what they like to do, watching what their body is capable of. And then also, like, showing them on the camera, like, you know, this picture actually turned out real good. Yeah. So, it's just about, like, that visual for people and that confidence from, like, your words. Yeah. That's so, like. So, do you be in the mirror, like, you know, because I was practicing tap dancing in the mirror. Mm-hmm. So, do you be practicing poses in the mirror, like. <laughs> yeah, no, I, because, like, even, like, when I, when I shoot myself, I have, like, so I sometimes have a mean face when I'm trying to do my serious face. So, I do have to definitely practice my face before I shoot yeah, myself. Yeah, for sure, for sure, And for then, sure. like, when I'm shooting other people, I'm, like, I do practice poses just because I'm, like. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's just practice. Yeah. It's just now, simply practice. Do you yeah. charge extra if you got like be hands on the whole time? Are you you putting the camera down? Okay, let me go here. And no, do this. it's in, it's included. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How much do it? How much is the package? Like I know it's probably different deals. Like if I want to get, you know, what I'm saying, photo shoot myself, you know, looking crazy and whatever. Yeah, it'll be um like my cheapest shoot is like for new models is seventy five, and mm-hmm. then my standard is one seventy five per hour. Okay. And then like when shooting with me, you do get pictures and video, so I feel like. I feel like I'm just trying to like have the best deals in the city without necessarily selling myself short. Yeah, and that's you know that's crazy because I think I talked to you about this like how when people do stuff they always want to charge like crazy prices yes. for anything like anything like I one thing that make that made me mad is when an artist is charging crazy prices as a feature and you not about to do anything like, to blow the song like up. Yeah, like got, you don't got I don't I know you because I know you but don't nobody know you so why right. would I pay you five hundred? For the song to do just as much without you. Right. You know what I'm saying? True. So a lot of times when we do things, like even with the podcast, I know mm-hmm. people who charge to come on the show. For real? Like, I'm I'm not about to pay you to ask you questions. Like, I just, I don't want to do it. Like, it was an no, artist. I, I low-key feel it. Like, yeah. I low-key feel it. Cause it was an artist in the city. I reached out to his management. He was like, yeah, you got to pay 400 400 So, so I'm, I got to pay you 400 to come on my show for me to ask you questions. Yeah. I got to research you for, you know what I'm saying, making a good interview. And I got to pay you money. Right. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I like, feel that. I'm good, man. I'm, I can't. I ain't, I'm cheap. Number one, and number two, Look, ain't I'm not, nothing yeah, wrong with that either. I'm not about to pay have a conversation with you. I just can't do it. I can't. I'm good. So how long do a typical photo shoot take? Like, ooh, like okay. So I've busted out a photo shoot in ten minutes, and then I've also done an hour. So okay. I feel like it just depends on who I'm shooting and what I'm shooting for. Because I'm like, if it's just a standard shoot in front of the backdrop. You don't need to take 200 yeah. pictures of somebody. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, they only about to use 10 of them. So, sure. shoot the best pictures. You know, mm-hmm. let them know, like, you know, hit the floor, do this, da, da, da. Yeah. And then also, if you extend it to an hour, like, if we do an hour shoot, you can change outfits. You will be able to change backdrops. We can really change even scenery, too. Mm-hmm. So, I feel like I could do, like, 10 minutes to an hour. Okay. And let me ask you this, because I, I had one dude on here, like, uh, no disrespect, but do you are you shooting like freaky one too, like couples like some freak? No, I've been, no. <laughs> no, I've, I've been asked though. I've been asked to um to to do that, and I had to really think about it. And yeah. I was like, I don't think it's for me right now, for real. Yeah, you just like you ain't comfortable, <laughs> like because it was like it wasn't that I wasn't comfortable, because I'm like you know, <laughs> I'm like it is what it is, is life. Yeah, but I yeah, feel yeah. like it was just like a lot of thought about it. I feel like I shouldn't have to think that much about a shoot. Yeah, yeah for so sure. That's, yeah. I think that was like what I had to respect. I'm like you are thinking a lot about this rather than just being oh, like yeah, yes yeah, or yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, because it, it, I can see it be uncomfortable. Like, like oh, this is yeah, a little I'm weird. Like, I low don't know y'all. Like, <laughs> Neck is here holding <laughs> each other. Like, like you like move that leg over that way. Right, right, right. No, exactly, exactly. Pick your breast up. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just a crazy shit like that. like I, I can see how it could be uncomfortable for yeah. real for real for, now you say you you uh, i read that you you know you shoot live events yes like what's the like have you ever shot like a, a music video yeah so i have i only have one music video under my books okay and it was for from a girl from um cali and she had came mm. down here and had she actually found me through hashtags so mm. hashtags work oh no for sure yeah they with the podcast really yeah, hell, yeah for sure for sure but with the live i feel like 
my purpose has really been to like showcase artists. So like when I do shoot you and take pictures of you, like I do promote you too. Mm-hmm. So it's just about, you know, like really just messing with Detroit artists and mm-hmm. putting them on as best as I can. Yeah. Now what's the difference between like a live event and the structure? Of course, you know, it's structure. Ooh, you got this, so that. with the live event, I'm like, each one is going to be different. You have different lights because of the venue itself. You have different people that you can shoot and meet. Because I feel like with um, a standard shoot, it's like usually going to be in a studio or at a specific location that you choose. But if it's live, you get to like see somebody in action, actually rapping. Mm-hmm. You get to see them, what they do before they get prepared for the show, what they do after the show. So it's like, I feel like it's a bigger story about their life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I, I, I like the life for real. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Now, you know, he got cameras and stuff, and I never knew how expensive a camera is. Oh, like, they be How waxing. important is the right, the, right, the right camera? And, you know what I'm saying, like, how expensive can it get the lenses? Like, because for the most part, the lenses cost more than them cameras yes. at the end of the day. Like, yes, they do. Like, how is important that? Because you coming in, I'm coming in with the iPhone, like, all right, I'm going to shoot you. Like, yes. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm not going to hold you up. So, like, I started my videography off of iPhone. So, I'm like, for, yeah. iPhone for sure does capture a good picture, but then I was just like, I want to, like, go into this for real. So, I feel like... Having the right camera does a lot. Mm-hmm. It's it's dang near everything. Because I'm like, you can have a lot of talent, but it's like when you get to certain levels of this business, you get to see the difference in the quality. And then when it comes to lenses, it's like you have to know if that lens is going to even portray what you're trying to shoot correctly. For sure. So I feel like it's just about really knowing what you're about to get into and what you're trying to convey. Mm-hmm. And it is, yeah, it is important for real. For sure, for sure. Now, do you have a, you got a funny story about a shoot that <laughs> went wrong? Or if you Ooh. don't, what can go wrong? Nah, I do. So I was, <laughs> shoot, I was um shooting this one girl and we had made a set outside and basically the set fell on her head. And that's the, <laughs> that's the bait straight up. It just fell, yeah. it fell on her head. So yeah. I feel like that's the worst thing that has ever happened in the shoot because i was like i was feeling bad i'm like yeah. and she's like it's okay it just means that we're done yeah. i'm like i'm like all right i got some good shots cool i'm like yeah. cool she was mad like god they didn't bust my head over she was, no she was cool about it i was like i was like i'm worried i'm like she's not gonna ever want to work on me again mm-hmm. but it was cool has she she back up though yeah okay okay oh saying. yeah she, she, she posted the pictures and everything so i'm like it's, everything yeah. is flowing right now you know what I'm saying a lot of people want to be in front of the camera yes a lot of people want to be seen you know what i'm saying that they, they they live for the camera but being behind the scenes how is important is being behind the scenes and like the money is into it sometimes you can mm-hmm. outlast the artist because the artist could be here today going tomorrow but you if you're a dope photographer videographer that you always going to be around no matter how old that. or young you are so like how important is that person behind the camera like well because a lot of people growing up don't know like they want to be a rapper but they it's more in, you know what I'm saying more to it i feel like it definitely shows you how things work in the industry like mm-hmm. i've been able to like see how important it is to like communicate how important it is to be prepared mm-hmm. how important it is to i don't know like just direct what's going on for real because i'm like of course the person in the in the in front of the camera like they have a whole nother job than you they have to showcase who they are mm-hmm. and like really put themselves out there to be seen but the person who's beyond the camera has to know how to even showcase what they see in front of them mm-hmm, so sure. i feel like both sides are equally important for sure because mm-hmm. if you don't have nothing to shoot yeah <laughs> through yeah, yeah yeah now would you encourage kids yeah we got a house phone it's the, <laughs> okay. yeah, my, my granddad got the house phone upstairs last person with a house phone but no would you encourage kids like to look at other options than just being the star you know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like even with being a star, I feel like you would want to know what's going on at all angles so that if you do have a photographer, you can be like, you know, go at this angle for me. I like this is a good angle for me. So I feel like it's just about being well rounded. Mm, for sure. Because for sure, like I like to be in front of the camera too. Like I have noticed I don't take as many pictures of myself mm. because I am behind the camera. So I'd be having to like, you know, remind myself like you do, can do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would say I would recommend, yeah, they do. I recommend they do it all for real. For sure, for sure. Now I say the year 2020 was all about. People stealing money and women getting bodies. So you know what I'm saying? These days oh my you know, these God. days a lot of female, you know, doing things to their body, maybe for personal reasons, maybe for insecurities and stuff like that. Like maybe just to, you know what I'm saying, because they comparing themselves to other women. Like, what's your thoughts as far as like, you know, women getting their body done? Because you you shooting pictures, they might be like, shit, I need a bigger ass. I need more cleavage to show. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what it is. Like, so what what's your thoughts on that? Like, as far as like you shooting pictures and you know, like women can, you know, men can be insecure too, but yeah. for the most part, you know, they want to enhance their body, so maybe they get more likes, more, you know, recognition, more eyes. I feel that. Well, I think 
my overall goal with like my own image is to be natural mm -hmm. and i do appreciate natural beauty a lot so mm -hmm. i will always want to encourage that person that they are enough already mm -hmm. that's my, and that's just my thing you know what i mean because i'm like if you want to make altercations to yourself like i'm not a person to judge so Mm. Do what you want to do, but if it's stemmed and like not really appreciating or loving yourself, I feel like that's a place where you have to question because mm. I'm like, God already made you. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty dope. <laughs> so it's like, what's up? Yeah, like, for sure, yeah. But it, uh, do you be feeling like that would be because they are like, envious of other women? Like, damn, she got. I feel like it's a, a lot of factors. I feel like it's the way that society portrays women and yeah. the expectations because I'm like, when it comes down to it, I'm like, I feel like the most natural person is, doesn't really care about what somebody else thinks. But mm -hmm. if you're taught to care about what other people think, like, through the music, through the media, yeah. then you're like, it probably is important how I look and how other people see me when I look a certain way. Yeah. So I feel like it's a... It's just the world. I mean, but it's not, just the world. Now you see everybody, even dudes, get their body done. Like, no, for real. I'm fun like, flex. I didn't know you could get muscles put in. I'm like, what the? Man, for real. Like, because you start, you know, back in, you, you see the like, the white girls trying to get the full lips. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kardashians look completely different than the way they used, yeah. you know, used to look. And shit like that. Like, nowadays, everybody trying to make sure they eat right, but they doing a cheat code. Yeah. Like, don't nobody want to go ahead and change their eating habits. Exactly. Go in the gym. Stuff like that, because that's the hard part. It's going to yeah. take time. Everybody won't. Right now, you exactly. feel me? Like that's even with music with this with this day and age, everybody want to blow right now. Don't nobody mm -hmm. want to take the time to, you know, what I'm saying, build that shit up. Exactly, I feel that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Now you a model yourself. Like, was that something you did first? Like, what made you tap into that bag? Like, cause I realized that I could. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't think it was like my main thing at all to like start modeling. Like, I never thought about it, but I was just like. You know, I would hear my family just being like, you know. I and mean, Craig and I'm like, are you pretty? And yeah, shit. I'm, like, looking like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I don't want to be no Instagram model, but I'm like, I can do this. Yeah, you know what sure. I mean? Yeah, 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 and yeah. then I was just like thinking about it can extend beyond just me taking pictures. I'm like, you know, that can include me acting. That it can include me doing sure. skits, like yeah, yeah, yeah. doing uh, more things with my dance. And it's just about being comfortable in front of the camera and showcasing your truest self. So I feel yeah. like. It was just like seeing everything that I was doing and seeing the possibilities as well. I was like, I do want to start modeling. And then mm -hmm. I'm like, this stuff is, it's like once you step into it, it kind of gets easy if you stay consistent with yeah. it. And now you said it. I had that on question. Real model versus IG model. Yeah. Like, like, like what, yeah. <laughs> what's the difference in between that? Like you got this, the chick that's just taking pictures, got their butt turned this way and they like this. Like, that's so the famous like, picture right there though. Like they got the twisty pretzel body. Make sure, dog. <laughs> make sure they ass right there. Like, hold on, hold on. Like, <laughs> For sure. Cool, bro. Yeah, for sure. I had asked that you do it all the time. I used to get mad at So but the <laughs> difference um the difference between a real model and the IG model is that IG model <laughs> is strictly for Instagram. Mm -hmm. Like with the real model you can you know how like you would then get in there have costumes? Mm -hmm. Like a real model is gonna like know how to get creative with mm -hmm. these pictures and these sceneries mm -hmm. and can be like published on different things like you can't be no IG model and just expect to yeah, yeah. ask for your portfolio about yeah, my yeah, IG you know pages. what I mean. Like it's it's not a, they not they not very professional pictures. Like when it gets to a certain extent, like they cute. Yeah, for sure, for but sure. But it's just a limit with the IG model. That's yeah. the only thing. Yeah. Now back in the day, I remember you know when I was young and watching American Next Top Model. I don't know why I was watching it, but <laughs> I was watching <laughs> that stuff. Like and you know back back in, in the day, it used to be a, be a certain height, certain yeah. size, certain look. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. what you think changed from back then? Like you know what I'm saying? You got you know, plus size women mm -hmm. doing modeling. I had um a, a, a young lady on the show. I can't think of her name. Brittany, uh, Brittany Newton. She a plus size model, whatever. Like, what what you think changed? Like, people just start being comfortable, or like people start accepting. Like, okay, it ain't about the tall, skinny, white chick. I think they wanted some more money. Yeah. Like I feel like they kind of realize how limited you're gonna be if you just have this one group of. Mm -hmm people modeling when you see that the world is very much interested in a whole other side like they they like black people more yeah, than sure. yeah, you know what i mean, I oh, mean no, like yeah, they yeah. love our look they love our energy yeah. so i feel like they kind of just realize the reality of this like you know we not we don't live in the same world where you know like we do like you mm. know we we know how people be feeling deep down mm. but when it come down to it on the surface level they don't want to still showcase that black people aren't creative in the muses for everything that they do yeah for so sure. i feel like I feel like reality hit and it was looking like oh yeah and plus black people dope as hell like, <laughs> like they, for real. they still everything from us our fashion how we everything, look everything they want to be us like you know what I'm saying everything every aspect that's why I think a lot we was talking about this I say deep down mm -hmm. but we come to realize that everybody probably got a little racism in them yes <laughs> but deep down you know white people is racist I think towards black people because they want to be us they they mad at the abilities that we got like what we can do we can tap into anything and, 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 and adapt and fucking 
conquer that shit. Thanks. So I think a lot of times they look at us like these motherfucking, you know, N words. And they don't even know why. That's the thing. Cause yeah. I be thinking about it. I'm like, I'm like, why they got so much hate for us? And I'm like, cause they not us. Yeah. I'm like, that's some that's something that they got to deal with personally. For sure. For sure. I'm like, we very calm, yeah. loving people. So it's like, and then we love everybody. That's what like, I'm we can, we like can, we can, Andy is no matter what it is, how you look, whatever it is. Like if you cool, you cool. That's we what gonna I'm embrace saying. you exactly. But uh, on the flip side, eh. it don't be that love <laughs> at all. For sure, for sure. Now with music, yeah. When you a rapper or you a hooper, you got people that you study. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You influence your game around or how you sound. Like when you being a model or a camera person, like who do you do you look at other people work like? Like damn, mate. Like they, they shit dope Like let me go ahead And see You know what I'm saying Like Yeah like I feel like Kinda and kinda no So I would like say no In the sense of like I don't Try to indulge myself Too much in what Somebody else is doing Because I do want to be My own influence mm -hmm. But when I do find people Who are Doing their thing And I'm like I respect what you're doing I do like keep up With them Because I'm like I feel like that's somebody Who can teach me something Yeah for sure Without taking away My own style Yeah And yeah. I feel like I feel like those people Just kind of pop up on Instagram You know yeah. what I mean Like yeah, Loki yeah, And I'm yeah. looking like I'm yeah. like I'm gonna follow you And, and keep track with you Because yeah. I'm like You really creating out here Because I ain't made so many Connections with people Off of Instagram Since doing this podcast yeah. Shit that's like People dope as hell For real like, But are you too uh, Are you You got too much pride To ask for help No 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 Oh no. but see Because I'm like Um Pride is an interesting thing for me because mm -hmm. I have found that because I am, like, so independent, I sometimes just don't even think about asking for help. Mm -hmm. But then it's not as if, like, I don't I don't want to ask for help or that I'm, like, you know, like, you know, I don't need no help. It's just, like, it don't cross my mind that, you know, somebody would definitely, like, help me in a way that yeah. I, I do need help. So I just be like, you know, I can do it myself. So I definitely have had to, like, grow in myself and be like, you know, there are people out there who mm. are trying to do what you're trying to do, who are trying to connect, are trying to make teams. So, you know, yeah. keep yourself open to that, too. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Now, do you ever look back at shit like, man, this? what the hell was I thinking with this shoot or how I was looking or what I was wearing? Ooh. And be like, damn, man, I was out here looking like a fool. Nobody tell me. Like, you ever... <laughs> I can't, I can't say that necessarily because <laughs> I feel like if I'm about to shoot, I'm going a, I'm to a show out for myself. Yeah. But I have had times of, like, playing around at shoots mm -hmm. and, like, not playing around, like, not being serious. But, like, you know, like, if I'm shooting somebody and then if I have my partner there or whatever and then they shoot me mm -hmm. and I take some goofy pictures and I look back and I'm like, I can't even put these pictures on yeah, yeah, I thought I, was sure. like, I thought I was looking so fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell so yeah. it had, it had kind of showed me. I'm looking like, you know, you got to. You know, bring your bossy energy if you went, you know, in front of the camera. Yeah, for or it's sure. It's gonna look goofy. It's gonna look goofy. <laughs> now you you hang around, you know, artists and stuff like that. I'm quite sure rapper singer. Yes. You ever tap into that your bag to you know what I'm saying do some music? I like to freestyle. I yeah. love freestyling. So I would say like on a creative side I do like to sing, I do like to freestyle, but mm -hmm. I don't really indulge myself in like creating music because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. people have asked me yeah. and i just be like if the day yeah. comes i'm like i don't got an issue you hopping about, on your track you, you know, know but i'm like you about putting a project up that's something that works it's an interesting thing like because it's like the way the universe has been working it's like it's keep getting put in my face yeah yeah, yeah for like, sure in some way of like even if i was doing like background for somebody or a little feature for somebody it keep getting put out there, but like on my own, I haven't been like, oh, I just want to be an artist. But I'm like, I know I'm a creative, so I know that's a that's in my bag. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we'll be we'll, we'll be a, your artist name. You feel me? Oh, okay, I thought you were have some <laughs> thought you were have a, a, some some type of artist like Young Something or so Young E or whatever. <laughs> Bro, no. When I was younger, I used to call myself Little E for sure. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Everybody was little, young. You know what I'm saying? Why nobody was big? Oh, it's a big, small, it's a big shine. Like who? We got, oh, we got a lot of bees. I'm stupid. Big pun. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call Yeah, but, but everybody was little. I was little shot. Young shot. I feel that. I feel that. Like, all the all the littles, I was like... Because, you know, you had Lil Wayne. Yeah. But then you had Lil Zane. Like, you had Lil Bow Wow. Everybody was little and young. Like, that was just the cheat code. Like, you know what? My <laughs> name real. is... My name is Eric, so <laughs> I'm young Eric. Fuck it. <laughs> See, I'm that one. Like, yeah, heck yeah. I'm the young one, for real. But then when you get old, you got to change it, like. You can't be 40 and still be young. Like, yeah. that's, that's why Jeezy probably changed this shit. Like, nigga gonna be going to these business meetings like, yeah, I'm young Jeezy. <laughs> like, Bro. You know what I'm saying? So you also went to your dance, and I'm a little jealous of you because I wish I could dance or whatever. Like, what what, what, what got you in dancing? Like, what that something you was looking Ooh. And all these, which ones was the, like, your, your first love? Because like, you do a lot of shit. Yeah, so I couldn't Millie Rock, and that's when I knew. I was like, I can't fuck. That shit hard, I dog. can't dance. <laughs> 
So <laughs> I started um I started dancing every day just so I could like learn how to do like the you know regular Millie Rock and mm-hmm. the A or whatever. <laughs> and then one day I was like, I'm kind of cold at this. I'm like I'm like bro. Yeah. And then I had um joined Tiffany Renee's dance company, and I did that for about a year, and then I went independent. So I feel like I just started practicing every day. I got confident with it, and then I was like, I'm about to go do this because I got opportunities in front of me if I yeah. do it a certain way. Yeah, for sure. And then I feel like my first love was definitely, I would say dancing, because mm-hmm. I'm like everything, like all this stuff for me is like very new for me, mm-hmm. but definitely I've always liked to dance, even though mm-hmm. I've never always danced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I was younger, I had got my um my step mom had caught me dancing yeah. and i was like dancing to like my, my style be kind of like yeah. i don't know so it was like my real specific style that i be doing now yeah. you wanted to hey that's that little so i was embarrassed i didn't <laughs> dance i never danced after that hey. until high school so hey, is that is that dance called a hey? how I don't know I, no the folks it's the folks <laughs> okay. hit the folks i'm about to say hey how do you feel about chicks who be a all the time they they trying to they trying to get oh, you you an air they trying to get lit bro <laughs> they trying to get lit I can't I can't say nothing oh your your friend she an air I can tell because she <laughs> she said that's me oh so I want to ask you this question like real quick what 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 bring the a out of you like hey like <laughs> yeah. okay okay because I ain't gonna lie I'll be lying to you if I ain't judge the people who say a because every time I said the girl said a I feel like she was for the streets. But you said the vibe. What? It's the vibe. Okay, okay, okay. I, <laughs> because the girls I know, hey, I'll be like, oh, yeah. Because it's like, hey, start smacking ass, hey. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she like, you know me. Like, I'm hey, hey, baby, baby, this mug. No, but I always wonder that because when you say hit the A, I I start thinking about the A and girls. Like, every time, if, if it's a drink, on Fridays and Saturdays after 8 o'clock, you're going to get multiple A's. <laughs> you gonna get you, you they, for, they gonna be they, they gonna be in the club. Hey, hey man. the girl ass start shaking too much. Like hey, it's super eight in. Like it's it's eight times three. Like god damn, I always wondered about that eight jump. But now nah, you didn't gave me a new look at it. it it's I was vibe. not expecting that question. Hey, that's what you, happened. You, you created because I wasn't expecting that. Right? That's what happened on this podcast. Have you ever been on a podcast before? Um. Yes, I have. But no. this is my first time being interviewed. Okay, yeah. Well, you about to blow up now. That's how it is. That's how Big it is. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. See, hey. <laughs> See, the Lewis, hey. Like, that was a lightweight, hey. But when them drinks start hitting and that right song come on, oh, shoot. We we getting A's from everywhere. Like, oh, we, hey, let's start A's, dog. See what happens, dog. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. Now, stage presence. It, it's hard for me to even focus now. Like, with stage presence, like, how important is stage presence? Because can um your stage presence make the song better? Yes. Because you out there like yes. just like you know what I'm saying stage stiff presence mud. everything. Because I'm like it's it's like what a concert is somebody is there to watch you perform. Mm-hmm. So they want to be entertained. I yeah. feel like stage presence is about straight okay. entertainment For sure. and personality. Give me your top three people you see perform on stage. Beyonce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, um, SZA too. She lit. SZA. Um. See, Buster Rounds up there for me. Bust oh around my people God. crazy. And what's my what's my man name? Who, I was about to uh, say Little John. Little oh, John. Shit. Is but he didn't get you hyped though, it's shit. Because he was just on BT Awards. Like, okay. He gonna get you hyped in mud. T Pain, Chris yeah, Brown. They, like, be, they be on that thing for sure. Yeah. Call out the air. Heck yeah, for sure. That was the, was the top. That was the top. We got to get a top five A. Like, what's an A moment or something? Like, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> now, how many uh, how many people you in help like choreographer, being a choreographer, like, you know what I'm saying, setting everything up? You Have you tapped into that? Yes. Yeah. So. And like, do you got to hear a song first? Like, how long do it take you after you hear a song to be like, all right, bet, I'm going to get this routine for this song? So it could take, like, actually, like, doing choreography, like, once you get your confidence up, it can really take like an hour to a day yeah. to do it. You know what I mean? Like it don't take that long to put some moves together mm-hmm. and really like connect with the song. Because I'm like, once you hear the song, you hear a story. Like they talking about something. Mm-hmm. So it's just about showcasing that story and then keeping in mind what the venue is going to be like. So being like, do I need to use more space or do I need to be, you know, in a box more? Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Now, do you got any kids you work with? Like a dance program or anything? You ever thought about nope. that? So I definitely, yeah, I'm like, I do, with some. everything that I'm doing, I do want to definitely, like, share my knowledge. So mm-hmm. I definitely do want to start having classes and helping kids out with their own creativity. Mm-hmm. But right now, I've been just trying to build up my own name sure. in the dance community. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Give me two artists that you would dream to work with. Two artists in the industry and two artists from the city. I was about to say my best friend. 
Okay, that's my dog. Who's that? <laughs> Nia. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. What's up, Nia? <laughs> <laughs> and who else? Um. Oh, Sada Baby. He's so okay. fire. Sada oh, yeah, Baby yeah, lit. Yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah. He cold, he cold, he In cold. the industry, definitely Chris Brown. Yeah. And I have to say Nicki Minaj and Beyonce. I knew you were going to say Beyonce. I knew that's going to go like, yeah. But Nicki be on her, bro, Nicki be on some other. Yeah, yeah, for so sure. Definitely, I would have to type in. Now, in your mini bags, you got a, a what's the name? Nonprofit organization. Yes, sir. Uh, Black Butterfly. Talk about that and what it's about, what it stands for, what y'all do. Well, the purpose of Black Butterfly is to liberate the minds, bodies, and souls of the African American community. Mm. And we do that by really promoting education, community service, and healthy living. Mm. So, we just want to get the community to a point of realizing they own power so that we can help ourselves. Okay, for to sure. To be honest. So, like, I'm just trying to, like, figure out ways to allocate resources without necessarily having to have all the money in the world because i'm yeah. like the money's always going to come because we blessed but it's like people already got the money and not doing a lot with oh, no, no, it no, so like fast. what's yeah. the catch yeah so when you say that like because like i remember um what's my man and killer mike was talking mm -hmm. about like how we need to learn how to grow food yeah have our own resources mfa it was a show you remember that john when he was like trying to everything you and one day he was trying to do everything but it had to be black owned mm -hmm. everything he ate everything he did the hotel and he had to wind up sleeping on the streets because it wasn't a black owned Whoa. hotel like i don't know how real that was but he but had, i feel that low key yeah. though because i don't think it but how important like, that's important like people don't understand like like resources could be snatched away from us and we wouldn't know what to do Facts. you know what i'm saying yeah. and a lot of times we don't support each other if i know you got black business mm -hmm. i'm gonna go somewhere else but yeah. you your price is gonna be too high for me or mm -hmm. this that, and third it's gonna be an excuse for me not to support you right so you be feeling like sometimes we might hinder our each other ourselves by not you know what I'm saying helping or or seeing somebody who's doing something in the community but you know them personally so you feel like i don't want to help that person yeah i was just actually thinking about this today and i'm like people have to support the people around them because i'm like that's all we have like mm -hmm. when you get to the next levels those are going to be a whole new group of people that are there to support you yeah, for sure. so it's like if you down here this is already your platform mm -hmm. to push everybody else up so i feel yeah. like it's just about people having a respect for where they come from and they own power because i'm like these your people you know everybody yeah. going through the same thing that you're going through so why not help them out yeah, in the yeah. ways that you help these people who don't care about you out like all these other places that we spend money on they don't they don't never come to our communities Hell no. even in a form of money they don't care about us yeah, so I, for just, sure. I just feel like it's like a respect for your own people yeah yeah yeah. and then a lot of times there be people who you know personally who won't help you out just because they are, they feel like they don't have to or they afraid that you might be doing something a little bit more than they are. So with the podcast, I think yeah. we, I get more help from people I don't even know. I post this shit on my personal page. <laughs> I get about two likes. I feel I that. Them on my podcast page, everybody's showing love. Ooh, I don't even know. Like, damn, that's yeah. crazy. But that's just how it is. Like, what's some stuff you want to achieve with Black Butterfly? Well. Like the ultimate goal or something you want to see within the next couple of months, years. So in the meantime, I'm trying to get organizations together so that we can kind of like help each other so it'd be like if somebody has a project that they're doing it'd be like an instagram thing you know not you know how instagram is everybody can see it so mm. if somebody has an event that they're having and then somebody else is like i have the resources for that event or mm. the even the people to help you know bring this event to life then we'd be able to like help each other for in sure. the meantime yeah. and then in the past we have done things giveaways so like giving families food on the holiday so just mm. more of those things of like really just helping people with the basic things of like eating, mm. having shelter, yeah. helping out the houseless with the food. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, warm. And then definitely, I do want to start helping kids for sure because I'm yeah. like, I feel like, I feel like it's simple to help kids. I'm like, they need mentors, they need yeah. a place to be safe to create. So I for feel sure. like just no, they definitely need mentor, mentors for real. Because like we got this talking about one of the uh, T two towns. She worked for one hundred seven point five. She mm -hmm. a teacher, and I was like, on her page, she was like, just frustrated with kids coming to class. I'm like we. Kids Whoa. doing whatever, fighting, not focusing. Like I think it's a lot of times because they ain't got nobody at the crib. Yeah. And they ain't got nobody outside that's going, you know what I'm saying, talk to them, tell exactly. them how to do this, how to do that. So, shit. It's, it's, it, we don't have after-school programs no more, like yeah. back in the day. And then we don't have nobody that, you know, a guidance counselor. Can you really go see a guidance counselor? Like, no. They're going to really help you out. Like At the end of the day, you need somebody who you can go to and vent to or somebody who could actually help you out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll be having that. Maybe we can collab on some jobs. <laughs> we should. Look, we should. We should. Because I'm like, also with the after school programs, I was thinking about doing something like that. Mm -hmm. And not even just thinking about it, Like, that's something like I have to. I have yeah. to do for sure. Because I'm like. Maybe need somewhere to go. Like, yeah. ain't nothing to do at the school. Like, if you like, ain't to sports, that's on, it's nothing to do at the school. Very true. And it's like, we know what's going on at home. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what they see. 
Yeah. You know what everybody around them is doing, so it's like you really have to refresh their minds to remember, like, you are a kid, you can't just for sure. relax and for enjoy sure. life right now. Yeah, but see, these kids now, they're 13, want to smoke weed. They be grown. Like, damn. They, like, be, they, be, they be grown. They trying to do everything that I was dreaming of doing. They doing it like, right. shit, I'm going to do this right now. Like, no, for real. <laughs> for real. Because I coach, so I be hearing and seeing, like, hold on, man. Y'all, what do you coach? I coach basketball at uh, Jefferson Douglas Academy. Oh, nice. I was at Bradford Academy out in uh, Star- um, Southfield. Okay. Nice. So, yeah, I coach girls and boys basketball, so. With that, you be hearing some crazy no, stuff. Like, real. come on, man. Y'all young. Like, for real. And it, one girl, I remember I called her Big Shirley. Like, I get everybody. Bro, huh, and she ain't big. Big Shirley. I, I get, I get everybody. Oh, Shirley, Shirley from the radio station? Oh, no. I was talking about this Big Shirley from like Martin and stuff. Like, oh, my God. So, no. She ain't big, but I get. I'm a coach who give all kids nicknames. Okay. Like, I call this one boy, I call him Old Gucci Man, like, back when he had the belly and junk. Like, uh-huh. I call everybody, they got their Bro. own nicknames. Oh, God. So, Shirley came to practice one time with the, with the smallest, tightest shorts on. Uh-huh. I'm like, Shirley, what you doing? She's like, what? I'm like, you can't be out here with those shorts on around me. Yeah. Like, you you looking crazy. Like, go back and change. Because if your dad come in here, if I was him, I'd cuss me out. Yeah. So, I'm like, if you ain't got no pants on, you got to not practice. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's some perverts. We already... I just told him a story about this this girl following my little five year old son all over the place. For real? I feel like I feel like she was a pervert. <laughs> I could be wrong, but she just too interested in my son. Like every time he danced, she out there dancing with him. I'm like, come here, man, get away from her. <laughs> I'm about to kill this lady. <laughs> but no, you got perverts out here, so I told her just to change and put on something that's more comfortable that you can move around. That's real, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't about to be out here looking like no dang on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. Some creeper and shit. What's some stuff you want to do outside of everything you do? <laughs> I know you said something about the acting. Oh, travel! I want to travel. travel more. I do. I do like the acting too. Mm-hmm. Um, Give me your top three places you want to go to. Jamaica. That's one of mine. Um, Hawaii. Okay. And definitely um, Japan. Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, be do dope. Wanna, I do want to. I do want to go see. I definitely want to go to uh, to the motherland though. Go to Africa and see how that yes, is. Yes, bro. I know Africa will be beautiful. Hell yeah. I'm hell not gonna yeah. want to come back. I already know. I already <laughs> For know. Sure. I already know. Your, yeah, yeah. What's something you want to improve on within yourself? Like with me, mm-hmm. I want to stop cussing so much. I'm gonna still cuss. <laughs> <laughs> I just want. It's, it's, it's still in me. I just want to tone it down a little bit. Cause my son say I cuss too much. You about to fill up his little cussing jar. <laughs> but, um, so I need to tone it down. What's something you want to improve on within yourself? My time management. Oh yeah. I would say because yeah. I'm like I do know how, like I know how to support myself. I know mm. how to put things together that I want to get done, but I'm like sometimes I do have a lot on my plate and they mm. sometimes can overlap, so I feel like my biggest thing is time management. For sure, for sure. Now, you know, we always ask like random stuff towards the end of the interview and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Like uh, um, you know, are you single? For the people <laughs> yes. watching. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody might be interested or whatever. Now, uh, what are some do's or don'ts? For a guy approaching you, don't be weird. <laughs> How can you? What's some weird stuff? Like what's some weirdo stuff? Um, I feel like people expecting that I'm about to be that girl because they think I'm cute. Yeah, I feel like a, pe- a lot of people have that. So energy. one conversation, you're like, oh yeah, we go together. <laughs> Yeah, or just like even if I'm like you know coming as a friend and they yeah. like start oh, pressing, shoot. I'm like, what vibe did you get from me? Yeah. That but see, and that's the thing. You? Can you actually be a friend? Like, all right, let's go for dudes. You know, what I'm saying girls, if you attractive, can you be friends with somebody and just be is his friends? Yeah. But see, for yeah, a girl, you might can. think dead, but the dude like yeah, he's your friend, all right? Because like, <laughs> I feel like that's like because it's possible. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like the easiest thing to do because I'm like. If you are interested interested in somebody, you are gonna like want to go further. But it's like mm-hmm. a personal thing of being like it's boundaries. Like for if sure, you want to have real. a friendship, you go keep it a friendship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what would the do? Like, man, I don't want to get too caught in the friend zone. That I, you know, what I'm saying I might like this girl, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm, but I'm a friend now. That's on him. <laughs> that's, that's on for him because sure. I'm like I'm like if it was meant to be, would it happen? Yeah. What's the worst game somebody tried to sell you on? Was it like DM? Oh, no, no, I do have one. So, I was about to um do this video for this guy. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, it's cool. We talking business, everything. He's like, okay, I'm going to hit you back up when I get back in town so we can, like, plan and everything. I'm like, bet. And then I started posting pictures, and he was like, you got a man? I'm like, you done fucked up. Yeah, I'm no, like, that's all I say, yes. like, with women, like, do you get that a lot? Like, people using what you do as far as the way you get on? Yes, yes, Like, yes. oh, yeah, let me ask. Like, yeah, how much I'm is like, it? <laughs> yeah, because it's like, it be so businessy. Like, I even had this one guy who I was about to shoot him, mm. and, you know, it was the vibe. I'm like, okay, so, you know, where you want to shoot at? Mm. You know, how long your shoot is? The regular, regular, regular. Then a few days later, he like, I want you to be in my shoot too. Yeah. But just because, like, I already, like, 
met him <laughs> and he was trying to like get on i was yeah. like it ain't no regular i want you to be in my shoot i'm yeah. like i'm like let me just shoot your pictures yeah. man like did you shoot it or you canceled no, he he never followed through with oh, the yeah. shoot. Oh yeah, what's he saying? Oh, I can't get <laughs> like, on. I'm like, oh yeah, man, fuck this shoot. <laughs> I'm good on you. Like, what's some uh, what's some um, what's your definition of of success? Success. Like, we jump right from the dudes to success. Like. I would say <laughs> being happy with what you're doing. That's success. For sure. Like, yeah. I feel like it's very simple because I'm like success looks different for everybody because yeah. I'm like it's people who you would have all the money in the world, but, be but miserable. yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. it's just about like being happy and being honest with yourself, like. Mm. If you want to do more with your life, go do more with your life. For sure, if for sure. If you humble where you at and you know that it's not you settling for the space that you in, then that's your that's your success too. Yeah, I wish I had the, the thinking like like, like y'all at, at your age. Like I was thinking about none of this positive stuff. Like I was out here just trying to a like. <laughs> 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 If a girl was A in front of me, I'm like, I'm trying to get an A too. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about none of this stuff. Like, I wish I would. That's one thing I wish I would have done differently as a, as I was growing up. I wish I would have focused more on something. Mm -hmm. My thing was just trying to have a good time, trying to drink A. <laughs> I feel and it. just no, I feel see it. how many you know girls you can pull. Like, I wasn't focused because when you young, you always think you got so much time. Then yes. you look up like, damn. I ain't fucked up on some time, like yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that's that. why I tell my son, like, man, if it's something you want to do, like, focus on. You can still have fun, but still focus on what you want to do. Right. A lot of people don't do that. And you and the other young lady we had on there, she's like 20, like y'all, like y'all. It sound like y'all got y'all head on y'all shoulders, whatever. So I know y'all aiming sometimes, but y'all, you know what I'm saying, do y'all, <laughs> <laughs> do y'all other thing. Now we got this one junk called this or that. This or so that. I, yeah, so it's a versus. This, this could be a so thing. you give me who you gonna who who gonna win the versus? Chris Brown dance moves versus the Marion dance moves. Chris Brown. <laughs> in person game versus IGDM. In person for sure. All right, dancing versus modeling. Got pick two. Oh, I say dancing because okay. I'm like with dancing you can also model too. You know, for you sure, can just stop sure. and pose. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Sierra versus Tiara Ta Tiana Taylor. Dang, that's rude. That's rude. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. God. <laughs> I don't even want to answer that one. <laughs> pass. Pass. Go pass. Pass. On that pass. I'm not. You can't choose. Yeah. <laughs> you can't choose. All right. Rap versus R&B. Oh. Can't pass on that one either. <laughs> I'll say R&B. Like okay. I wanted to say rap, but I'll say R&B. Because right. I feel like it like. You can kind of like you can kind of mesh both of them if you're really sweet with it. For sure, for sure. Key. Old school music versus new school. Old school for sure. All right, Solid Baby versus uh versus uh Vezo. Dang, <laughs> it depends. Cause I'm like I like Solid Baby because he lit, but Vezo be talking. Yeah, he Vezo do. Be he do. He do. So I'm gonna have to go with Vezo because he be talking. He All be right. Talking. Yeah. Seafood versus soul food. Dang. That's what black people love both of them now. Nah, that, no, that's the real. thing. Like, but I would say like <laughs> yeah, yeah, you at, yeah, give me some some shrimp with that boy AMIS. I think seafood. Cause you you can make some soul food Through that seafood. got seafood. So you got the Chico, you, you can know buy it. I mean? yeah, like yeah, I can yeah. make some I, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gumbo be good as hell. Short versus tall. <laughs> say the oh short versus tall. tall. All right. Natural hair versus weave. Natural. Alright, alright. IG model versus real model. <laughs> <laughs> real model. All right, now this top three. I give you a category. You give me your top three. Okay. Top three childhood crushes. I'm like, I don't. No, no, not not people. I'm talking about celebrity crushes, not Craig and Tyrone. I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> like, like, you might watch this. Like, no, I'm talking about like celebs who you was like Chris as a Brown little kid. Chris Brown was fine. All right, Chris Brown. Trey Songz was fine. Trey. Prince, oh my God, I love Prince. Prince. Yes, Prince is my baby. Man, Prince, he was he was he was dope because he was dancing with heels and shit like his little nigga. I'm like, I'm like, you, <laughs> you a real one? I'm like, Man. I like that. I'm like, okay. All right, Michael yeah. Jackson versus Prince. No, you can't compare oh, them. You cannot no, compare them. No, I'm talking about the versus battle. You can do some music. I don't know. It oh, might blow I'm, up. The, yeah, the building might blow yeah, up. They both dope. <laughs> my mama gonna be mad because she want Prince, but I'm going. I'm going Mike. I, got, I used to get go poor cars to get Michael Jackson CD. Man, back in the, back. I just got. I got so much respect for both of them. I no, they both dope as hell. Hell okay. yeah, they own a little shit. All right, give me your top three moments in life. It's a young life, but I was about to be like being born. <laughs> 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 hey, you, hey, you won the race <laughs> for sure. That's the first thing you won. Um. I have a lot of good moments, actually. Yeah, give me a top three. 
Oh, going to the Dominican Republic for my senior trip. Okay. I felt like that was just. I never seen a whole place of black people who spoke Spanish. Oh, yeah, with for this sure. With beautiful skin. I'm like, oh, my people are that. I'm Hell like, yeah. cool. Hell yeah. Okay, okay. Tomorrow. And I will also say... Being able to, like, perform my best friend, mm-hmm. I feel like that'd be, a, like, a big testament to my life because I'm like... In my head, I'm like, this is stuff I used to be doing when I was literally a kid with yeah. my cousins. I'm like, oh, we doing this on stage to be on bigger stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like that's dope. That's yeah. dope. And last one. I was. You trying to end it off like? <laughs> <laughs> like my last. One. Meeting all my friends. Uh, yeah, I yeah. love. I love my people. Okay, that's what's, yeah. up, that's what's up. Okay, <laughs> give me your top three foods. Ooh, I don't eat meat no more, but I'ma still name them. Yeah. I love me some chicken. I like macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Br- hold, on, uh, hold on. Hold on. This is going to tell me a lot about what? you. Brick macaroni or creamy? Creamy. <sighs> Why you like... Like, what you mean by like brick Like, my macaroni got to be like, I got to carve it like dinner with a knife. Oh, no. I do like... <laughs> no, no. I see what you mean. Okay, I see yeah, what you yeah, mean yeah. now. Yes. I like that first layer. That first yeah, layer has to be like, thick. Yeah, because my there. wife like the creamy one. You pick it with a spoon and just like... Yeah, just I, like, fall, I like the like. combination of both. Yeah, of them, yeah. I like that one. Because I, I was like... Because I'm, yeah. like, I'm like creamy. I'm like, I don't want no hard ass macaroni. No, no, no. But no, I see what you That's mean. That's when all you got cheese is they and marinated. You know what I'm saying? I see what you mean. All right, so chicken, mac and cheese. I like yams too. Yeah. I like pasta. Like pasta be banging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so what? What made you? <laughs> what made you turn to a vegan? Um. Or I wanted to be healthier. Okay. Like my. Do you be feeling like better? Yes, a lot better. You like t- immediately, oh, immediately man. better. Because I wish I could do it. When I was like younger, like. Already, like, my parents never, like, were really on an unhealthy tip. So, like, I already was, like, on the way. But yeah. then my younger sister, she straight went vegetarian. I'm, like, she been doing it for five years. And I'm looking like, I'm, like, if you can do it, I might as well tap in. Yeah, for sure. Damn, that's a hard thing to do. Even Tom Brady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. Yeah, for sure. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, man. I love I love meat. Like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Said I got to reminisce a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Give me your top three movies. Oh, I don't know the name of this movie, but it's one of my favorite movies. So, it was a movie where this native guy, it's like, kind of like white people come to his um, his village mm. and they mess up everything and then he gets taken into slavery, but he winds up getting away, winds up go refining his family. Damn. But it was not in English at all. I never remember Bro. the name of it, but that movie was banging. He got a little ponytail if anybody ever watched it. <laughs> like little... Indian in the country. Oh, I remember. That was throwback. We used to watch that in school. <laughs> <laughs> and then right. definitely It Man. That's a um karate movie. Okay. I love karate movies. And okay. last but not least. <laughs> Say the last dance. <laughs> Heck you know. <laughs> oh Baby. Baby. What's that? It's like a um it's a older movie where mm. a girl goes to like a camp with her family and then she meets this guy they started dancing or whatever the family mm. doesn't like him because he's like supposed to be poor mm. they wanted to fall in love well kind of like titanic a little bit oh i love titanic <laughs> yeah, that's, a dramatic, that's a dramatic movie yeah, yeah, wait yeah. question so was titanic real or is that all i made up i mean it was a real event but the people and the characters i don't think that was like you know what i'm saying some shit interesting but i know i wouldn't i would have gotten that door with her I wouldn't have died in that water. We were, Bro, I'm mean, like, I, just I, met feel, your I ass feel like, like <laughs> it was possible. I feel like, like it was really possible for them to both survive. Yeah. Hey, I'm about to climb on your back. Like, we about to be <laughs> on this boy together. Are we going to switch or something every 10 minutes or something? I think that mother just looking like, man, I just met you and I died for you. Like, damn. That's crazy. That's some love right there, boy. Hey, I'll die for you. I just met you a couple of days ago on the really? boat. <laughs> Give me your top three TV shows. Um, Shameless, for sure. Okay. I've been hearing people talk about that a lot. Shameless bang. Yeah. yeah. Um... The Handmaid's Tale. Okay. That's crazy. Gotta get hit. And I like cartoons too, so I gotta I gotta throw in a cartoon. Oh. <laughs> oh, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh no, that's a throwback. I like Ed, yeah. Ed, 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 Ed. But yeah. when you look back on it, them niggas might be going through some shit. No, for real, I don't know what they going <laughs> through right now. Like, I'm like, like they might, their parents might be on drugs or something, like, bro, because they was they was a little grown yeah, to be sure. kids. They was doing a lot. But then that's when you had cow and chicken, and their parents was like legs, like 
male like uh, 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 human legs. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, but I was watching that John, Johnny Bravo, all that good John Dexter Laboratory. Yeah, no, all the all them shows bang for sure. Yeah. Real rest. That's why you gonna come back yes. real rest, and it's like uh, animation. Like, it looks stupid as hell. Like, man, I, I, I need that, that messed up drawing. Uh, a real rest, not this old clear junk. Like the original, yeah. Like, yeah. Give me your top three hood shit that you do. <laughs> Besides, yeah. <laughs> like, what's some stuff you do as you like when you be around your people, your element? Like with me, hood rat shit. Oh yeah, what's some hood rat shit like about you? Like me, I wear flip flops. <laughs> I wear flip flops a lot. That's hood rat shit. Duh. I just realized that when we was talking, like that's some hood rat junk. Flip flops. Like uh, my sit on the porch and junk, just chill with the music playing. That's some hood rat shit. <laughs> like, uh, bro, yeah. for sure, meeting at the park and just listening to music with my cousin. Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like that's one of my top. Um, okay. Barbecue. Pulling up to the cookout. I'm like pulling like hey, I'm looking best, like that's, that's, a, that's a real classic. specific thing. I'm like I'm like I'm like you you see your other family over there. You like hey, I'm on the way for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And then Listen. I feel like the particular dances, like when I'm doing particular dances, I'm like, oh yeah, you Detroit girl for sure. Hey. Like I be mean, like, yeah. Hey, I wish I could jet too. It's about black uh, Detroit shit. Like that's you some shit. You gotta tap in. Know, we gonna get your feet together. And bro. ticking, like I can always tip it the right, hey. but I can't get to the left. It's stuck. It be stuck right there. Like <laughs> the right be hitting. Like oh, oh shit, but get here. Like don't know what to do with that motherfucker. It's paralyzed. Left hand paralyzed. Now I asked you before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You got me. You got a high moment or a jump moment that you remember that you was just messed up on. When you was like just stuck in a situation. If you don't. Well, I would say like when I used to smoke, Hmm. I used to just sleep. Like I would be the one. I would sleep in the middle of the party. Yeah. Like you go so find somewhere and go. Like I would be knocked out. Like I get tired. So yeah, yeah, I would say that's that's a lot of moments. Also, when you used to smoke. Yes. Like how long ago was this? Um, <laughs> Cause like, I stopped smoking in July. This past July, mm-hmm. what well, was like something like just? I just wanted to elevate because I was like, I've been, I started smoking when I was like sixteen. Damn. So I was like, I've been doing this for a while. I'm like, yeah. What made you like start doing that that, that early? Like just your friends were doing it, felt yep. good. Because I'm like, I wasn't messing up in school, so I kind of felt like it was no reason for me, kind of like not to enjoy myself. Yeah. In a way, I'm like, okay, I've got good grades. Yeah. I'm respectful. I'm like. Yeah, you about sure. to go out, yeah. and then also I've always hung out with older people too. So for that's sure. the thing. I'm like, they was literally older than me, doing growner stuff, and I'm like, oh yeah, versus older guy versus younger guy. That's scary because I'm like, it'd be some older guys that be slow. What's the oldest guy you would date? What's the youngest <laughs> guy you would date? I say gate. <laughs> um, that's scary too because it's like some crazy young people too. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what the heck? Like, Big. Yeah. Cause um, I'm five years older than my wife. For real? Yeah. I feel that. But then I be thinking like, damn, when you was five, I was ten, this motherfucker. Cause I f- okay. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell though, but no. Cause I've had like eighteen year olds try to talk to me, and I'm like, I literally have had to tell them, I'm like, you know, you, you need to go to school and just focus on yourself. You don't need to focus. On- <laughs> you so summon that nigga like. I feel like a mama a little bit, yeah. so I'm like, I feel like eighteen is too young yeah, for me. Like, like I'm you like, me, go focus on yourself. Yeah, cause like. it don't have nothing to do with them. I'm like, you could be the best person ever, but yeah. it's like a personal thing of like, I've been through enough. Things that are different than you to be sure. like, we don't have. Bro, yeah. I can't, I'm not about to be your mama. Yeah, for sure. That's and then with grown men, I found that they be looking for a mama too. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm like, bro, like, I like, it's be- cute and all, but yeah. what the hell? Man, that's funny as hell. That's funny. Which, it was good having you on here. Thank you. You I came. You having me. Even though, you know what I'm saying, I doubt you. I'm sorry I doubt you. Right, he thought I was going to spin him. Yeah, but I always like to be real with people. I don't want to talk behind your back and then you get here. I don't say it. But, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where can people follow you on all your platforms? Oh, I got to spill this out for y'all. So, my um, main Instagram is MZ underscore E-U-P-H-E-M-I-A. So, that's Euphemia. Mm-hmm. My dance Instagram is MZ underscore P H E M E. That's Miss Femi. Mm-hmm. My photography and videography business is Shot by Euphemia. So that's S H O T B Y E U P H E M I A. And then my nonprofit. Y'all really got to hit me up on that. For sure. Black Butterfly is B L A C K 3 U T T E R F L Y E. So it's Black Butterfly, but the second B is a three. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That's so what's up. Thank that's you. What's up. Thank all, you. I all appreciate the you. I'm going to follow all of them, but they all got to follow back. I get okay, people 24 no, I, hours. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you better have my money in 24 yeah, for hours. Sure, for sure. Now, what, what you want to leave some people with some positive words? Oh, definitely. I would say, like, go after everything that you want to go after because you are going to be the one who has to deal with your life. Mm-hmm. So it's like if you feel like 
you have a dream that you want to accomplish, like figure out what you need to accomplish that dream and figure out how you can go do it. Mm. I would say don't never sell yourself short. So it's, if it's any situations or people that's not hitting on your vibration, you don't got to deal with them. Yeah, you don't sure. owe nobody nothing. For sure. Fast, fast, fast. I'm going to leave y'all with like, if it's a time or if it's a moment, A your ass off. <laughs> it's, never, it's, never, it's, never, it's, never, it's never a wrong right time to A and shit, dog. Like, she put me on game. She says a vibe. And they all about the street. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a changed man. I ain't going to think less of the A's. <laughs> I like y'all, man. Shout out to everybody. Peace.